news everywhere. Wednesday, a new partnership between Edmonton Police Service and Alberta Sheriffs was announced, aiming to deal with crime and social disorder in inner city neighborhoods. 12 sheriffs will be working alongside EPS members in a 15 week pilot program, a move being met with some criticism. Well, it would probably be a lot cheaper to give them the money to buy the sandwich so they don't have to steal it. Boyle Street Community Services Executive Director Jordan Reiniger says that if law enforcement serves as a safe space for the homeless and vulnerable, the pilot program could be a positive thing, but adds that the success of the partnership will lie in the approach they take. How are these new officers coming in and approaching and, and working with people who are experiencing homelessness and vulnerability? Uh, how are they ensuring that they're understanding what their safety risks are and their needs are and, and how they can protect them? Because uh, as I said, they're, they're the ones who are most at risk out there. They're the ones who are most victimized by crime, the ones who are most victimized um, by just even the state of being on the street and the public health crisis that we're in. Alberta Sheriff's existing budget will cover the cost of their deployment to the pilot project. While no so-called extra money is being spent on additional policing, Reiniger says he hopes an equal amount of planning and effort is put into resources to solve the root cause of the crime being addressed. If enforcement is the primary response um, and we're not dealing with the root causes of why people are on the streets in the first place, um, then you're kind of just moving people around, giving people adequate housing, uh, making sure people have access to the treatment that they need, uh, making sure that people have access to the critical health care that they need, including mental health care. And so, you know, those are things that need to be the baseline of any approach in terms of making sure people have the, what they need. In Edmonton, Bianca Millions, City News.